is Boris another Trump? <laughs> well, at first blush, the question of whether Boris is another Trump seems inflammatory. But this uh, proposition, this idea has been raised by a number of commentators on all sides of the political spectrum. There was a joke going around during uh, Boris's incumbency to the effect that the only difference between Boris and Trump was that Boris could read Latin. <laughs> In any case, uh, there are enough similarities that the case is worth examining. Uh, many, of course, especially among his defenders, would deny this and suggest that the comparison is uh, invidious, insulting, and invalid. Uh, I look at both sides. Well, let's start with those who say, yes, he is another Trump. Perhaps the most noteworthy similarity between these two men is their seeming addiction to lying. Uh, during Trump's presidency, the Washington Post kept track of the number of lies that Trump told and uh, stopped counting, I think, at 35,000. Uh, Boris has been repeatedly called, caught out telling as they say here, porkies. <laughs> uh, something he seems to do without a second thought and without embarrassment. And awful as it may first sound, a good case could be made for both psychopathy and narcissism. Uh, a famous scorecard by an American psychotherapist some years ago noted the uh, 20 characteristics of a psychopath. Both men score very high on this list. They tick almost all the boxes. And the case for narcissism uh, for each one is, I think, uh, self-evident. Uh, both of them are guilty of self-dealing. Uh, Trump, most of all, used his various hotels and entertainment facilities to host government events and at high fees. Uh, Boris looked after friends and girlfriends with the offer of jobs and the funding of their projects. Uh, the advisors and colleagues, subordinates particularly, of each claimed they could never catch their boss's attention for important issues. Uh, and they found that their only focus really was on uh, making popular pronouncements and, and gaining attention for themselves. Uh, both of them have little respect for democratic norms and rules and resent checks on their power. Boris and Trump, two peas in a pod. No. Well, some say uh, he is definitely not like Trump. They would say Trump is clearly a criminal. He's being pursued uh, for a number of jailable crimes in many American legal jurisdictions. Boris's only crime was to have a few drinks with colleagues during COVID lockdown. They are hardly similar. Uh, Johnson is an egotist, but he is not unhinged, delusional, or borderline sociopath such as Trump. It's hard to imagine that he would ever condone an actual invasion of the House of Commons or deny a, uh, a legitimate uh, election result. Uh, Boris, uh, we have to say, possesses both charm and humor, whereas I don't think anybody's ever seen Trump laugh. Um, Boris presided over a landslide victory, not a squeaker as did Trump. That's the first time around and a loss the second time. Boris was a popular, inspirational leader and has only been ousted as a consequence of the usual Tory infighting. Definitely not a Trump-like figure. Well, those are two spirited views on an interesting subject. What's my take on it? Is Boris like Trump? Sadly, yes. Boris is a classic demagogue. He emulates many of the appalling personal characteristics and behaviors of America's worst ever president. I've enumerated many of them above. We will be well rid of them in September. Uh, in both cases, this is a sad and unpleasant conclusion to come to about one's national leader. Well, there it is. That's a pretty unpleasant uh, a reading on this subject, I think. And I imagine many of you will be offended, but uh, if you liked it, uh, please respond to it. And have a look at some of my other uh, videos and some more subjects. And subscribe to us. Thanks a lot.